happy you're here. Well, very Thanks happy for to be coming. Here. Very I happy cannot to be think here. of a more romantic place <laughs> for you to celebrate Valentine's Day than here promoting your latest project. It's just <laughs> so beautiful. Dave, what was a young Dave Franco like on Valentine's Day? Mm. My, I imagine you were a very romantic I, I, I was a little bit of a hopeless romantic, but I was also very shy and non-confrontational, so it didn't amount to much. So, like, for example, in middle school, I had a crush on this girl, and I find out I find out she likes me too, and so I decide to take it to the next level by Who going... Who is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, continue. So I decide um, I, I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven, I'm gonna collect every kind of candy possible, I'm gonna put it in a brown paper bag, I take it to school the next day, it's during lunch, I see her under the, uh, a tree with her friends, and I'm like, all right, here we go, Davey. Ready, set, go, and I start running at her, and then I throw the bag at her and I keep running away. <laughs> and so... Didn't break stride. Didn't break stride. As I got to high school, I, I amped up the sappiness quotient even more where... Um, there's another girl, similar situation. I liked her. It seemed like she liked me too. And I show up to school early on Valentine's Day to give all of her teachers a single rose to kind of distribute to her throughout the day. Aww. And it came from like a very sweet place, but I realized throughout the day, like, we're not together. And like, so now her teacher is giving her these roses in front of all our peers. And I don't know, I hope she's flattered, but maybe she feels awkward. Wait, so... this wasn't your girlfriend? No. So, <laughs> so I see her at the very end of the day and she comes up to me and she says, thank you. And I go, you got it. <laughs> I think I was watching too much Dawson's Creek at the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's Never always going to be the Never problem. Never too yeah. much. What about you, Alison? What were you like uh, romantically when you were younger? I was the opposite. Oh, yeah. Go on. I was very straightforward. I liked a grand gesture. Um, I remember my senior year of high school, my high school boyfriend and I had broken up. We were on a break. Um, Rachel and Ross mm. style. And we, I don't even think we had spoken or had any contact for at least a solid month. And I decide on Valentine's Day, I'm gonna go get him. So he was a year ahead of me. He was already kind of like on the west side. He lived in this kind of dorm co-op building near UCLA. I find out from his roommate, he's in the cafeteria. I drive over there. He has no idea I'm coming. We're broken up. We haven't seen each other in a month. I get there. I decide in the moment, he's in the cafeteria. I'm gonna do uh, Jerry O'Connell in Scream 2. I walk into the cafeteria. Some of you are with me. <laughs> I walk into the cafeteria. I walk up to him, his face flushes red. He can't believe he's seeing me on Valentine's Day. And I say to him, this morning, I woke up with this feeling I didn't know how to deal with, and so I just decided to myself. Oh no. I'd hide it to myself. I hate this. The whole room stops and did not talk about it and would not go and shout it. When you walked into the room, oh I God. think I love you. Oh God. The whole room stops. I think I love you. Oh God. So what am I so afraid oh of? Wow. I'm afraid that I'm not sure of. A love there is no cure for. <laughs> Kisses me, we make up, the whole room applauds. No, stop. Stop. <sighs> Two weeks later, we broke up. It wasn't Whoa. meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. God found the one right here. Wow. Oh my God. That was, guys, that was unbelievable. What a twist.